I just get, you know, I, I get easily obsessed by things. The, the, the vinyl is really out of control right now. I don't need every single recording of every single piece. I'm having a classical music crisis. I'm Ken Sanders. I'm a bookman, and you're in my house. This house where I live now that I call Forest House came to me very accidentally. It's just perfect. It's here in the city, but yet it has the kind of seclusion and privacy that I need. My brother, my brother made that for me. It's my sanctuary. People don't come to this house accidentally. I've made it so that they can't. Um, this is a arts and crafts house from 1915. I bought it about 10 years ago and I intend to stay here until I die. I've got that DNA, that collector DNA from, from my father. Um, possibly the older I get, the crazier I get. I think like dad did, but I don't know, the verdict's still out. The older I get, the more I try to think about the real, I don't know, the, the value in between the things. The things that just aren't readily there on the surface. I don't rationalize things. But because I have no wall space left, I have to be more and more careful about what I buy. Nostalgia plays a huge part in it. There's a Catholic published comic book, but they, it's starring Alice in Wonderland on the cover, so I had to have Alice in Wonderland. So we walked around the corner to have lunch and had a nice lunch, and I went back to leave a tip on the table, and Crumb is, he doodles on everything constantly. And there was this, this salsa-stained placemat, and so I left a nice tip, took the placemat, framed it up. Maybe houses and people start becoming like one another, like people and pets, supposedly. Am I the house's pet, or is the house my pet? But this is my elephant graveyard. I don't intend to leave here. What'll happen to all the stuff? Who knows?